Do you have a great story idea for a visual novel? But your writing sucks, and your art talent sucks, and you can't even program? Then, sorry, no chance. That is up to now. In this video, I will show you how to make your first visual novel in two hours, without any writing, painting, or programming skills. It might not quite be the new Steinsgate or the next Doki Doki Literature Club, but it will be your visual novel following your story idea. Oh, and of course making it will be for free. No money needed for any tools used. So how do we pull this off? Looks like we need to hire a free writer, a free programmer and a free artist, right? Exactly. As writer and programmer, we will hire ChatGPT. And as artist, we'll hire Leonardo AI. You can hire others if you like, but those two are great experts in their field. What you also need to do is to install a software for visual novel creation. We will use RenPy. Just head to renpy.org and download the latest version on your computer. PC, Mac, Linux, it works on all of them. The program is totally free, but if you really like it and you're not too poor, please give the author some donation. He's a really nice guy. Okay, after installing RenPy, open it up. Start a new project and give it a name. Choose a screen size and a color scheme. Then click on Open Project. Now an intimidating text editor will open. Open up the file script.rpy. More intimidating code stuff, but good news. You won't have to work on that much. We let ChatGPT do that. Okay, so let's head over to ChatGPT. And then we tell it what we want. I wrote the following, but of course you can describe your own story. Please write the start of a visual novel in Renpai. The story is set at a Japanese high school in spring. The protagonist is a female student called Ayaka. A new boy is entering her class. His name is not revealed and he is throughout referred to as the new boy or the boy. She falls in love with him but is too shy to talk to him. Oh, what a cheesy love story is developing here. Well, we want to write a visual novel, so let's stay true to the origins. Anyway, that's what ChatGPT responds. Well, a lot of sugar-coated gibberish, but this gibberish is actually RenPy code. You can just copy-paste it into the editor to replace the content in script.rpy. If you don't like the output, you can ask ChatGPT to correct it. For instance, sometimes ChatGPT forgets to add the graphics. Then ask it to add commands on now to add background pictures and character sprites. In our case, that was already fine, and ChatGPT even told us what graphic files we will need. You can then continue the story. I wrote, Please continue the story. Ayaka is still too shy to talk to him, but her friend Hana notices that and talks to her. Again, do some copy-paste into the editor. Now, at some point, you want to let your players have choices, right? Otherwise, it's more like reading a book, not a real visual novel. So let's ask ChatGPT to do that. Continue the story. Let the player now choose whether to talk to him or not, and continue the story in both cases. Now, if you read the gibberish, I mean the code, bit, you notice something. ChatGPT lets the player pick a name for the boy. Maybe we don't want that. So let's change that and let ChatGPT choose a name instead. Please change that. Do not let the player choose a name, but use a fixed name. You can pick a typical Japanese male name for that. And here you have it. Looks great. You can continue like that until you finish your story. At the end of the story, you will need to add the command return to your code so that RenPy knows that the game is over. Once you're done, you can save the file and click on Start Project in RenPy. And now you can play your game. Of course, the pictures are still missing. Oops. So let's ask ChatGPT to do that. Um, maybe not. It can't generate images. 
but Leonardo.ai can. So let's open Leonardo.ai and register there. In the top line, we need to tell what we want. But how? If I ask ChatGPT what to tell to Leonardo, we notice a problem that many great artists have. They don't excel in communicating. I've tried, but ChatGPT just doesn't get how Leonardo is stupid when it comes to understanding language. So better talk directly to Leonardo. Let's start with a background. And in the art style, high school building in spring. The first text in parentheses marks the style. Of course, we need to set the image size correctly. I chose 1280 times 720. If you want bigger pics, you can later use the website Y for 2x to upscale. Here's the result. Not bad, is it? By the way, some people have weird ideas about how AI art generation works. They think that it just searches for a fitting picture on the web or that it puzzles a picture together from pieces of existing pictures like a tree from that one, a building from this one, and some cloud from that one. That's all wrong. AI does basically the same that humans do it. It learns how to draw by looking at many pictures and imitating the style and essence of things on these pictures. The school building here is therefore completely genuine and new. It's not stolen from someone else's picture. So if someone tells you AI is stolen art, it simply hasn't understood how it works. Anyway, the key point is, the pic looks nice. After your image file is the correct size, save it to the image folder in your RenPy project. Use the file name that ChatGPT told you to use. Do not deviate, otherwise RenPy won't find the picture. Okay, that was easy. How about the characters now? First, choose a different size. You want a more upright format now, like 600 times 800. Then describe your character. I chose anime art style. Ayaka wears her typical high school uniform, a white collared shirt, a navy blue blazer with a school emblem and a knee length pleated skirt. She has brown eyes and her dark brown hair is neatly tied into a ponytail with a school ribbon. Her expression is confident. White background. White background is important. We want our character sprites to have a transparent background so that we can see, for instance, a school building behind Ayaka. Therefore, it's important that Leonardo is not drawing any background details there. This prompt is far from perfect, but it's just something you might write if you have not much idea about it. In fact, it was based on a suggestion by ChatGPT, and it still works. Before you generate the picture, however, there's one more thing. Click on Show Advanced Settings and activate Use Fixed Seed. This will make sure that all Ayaka pictures that we will generate look somehow similar. Then generate the picture. Happy with it? Good. Not so much? Then try again with a different description or different seed. Finally, save it. Then do the next expression. Change as little as possible on the description for that. S save the result as well and so on. There are more tricks how to get consistent character pictures. You can read my blog if you want to learn more on this. Now copy your character sprites into the image folder of your NPI project and name them correctly. Finally, remove the backgrounds. On Mac, that's easy. Just use remove background in preview, but any good graphics software will have a function for that tool, maybe involving some manual work. If you have everything together, you can now play your first homemade visual novel. Just click on Start Project in RenPy. You can also choose Build Distribution and export it to a standalone program that you can send to your friends to play. It took me around two hours with this method to make a very short visual novel. I didn't write a single line of dialogue and didn't draw anything by myself. The result is okay. Definitely good enough for a fun project. Why don't you make a visual novel with a story about how your friends met as a present for the wedding, or an interactive tutorial to teach children something, or make a funny visual novel as a parody on some classical literature? The ideas are endless. Now, I have written and published some large visual novels before. Did I use this method? Definitely not. 
I wrote the text by myself because I can and I wanted to. I used the eye for the art, added to it and also drawn parts of it by myself just to get a better result. Sometimes a single peak took me two hours of working with the eye output. And I have coded everything to have more options. Include mini games, funny animations, pretty menus and so on. And of course I've added music and sound effects. In fact, I have composed most of the music for my games by myself and recorded a singer. The possibilities are endless if you do things by yourself. But if you can't or don't want to, AI can do a lot for you now. If you want to try out the VN I've made in two hours using AI, please follow the link in the description. And if you want to play my real visual novels, they are links too. You can play them for free actually, so just try them out. And if you want to learn more, take a look at the resources on RenPy, on RenPy.org and on YouTube. There are amazing creators out there. So now two questions to you. What kind of visual novel do you want to write? And in general, what do you think about using AI for such creative tasks? Is it cool or is it terrible? I'm curious to hear. Hey, and if you make a visual novel with this method, Please let me know about that too. Good luck with your project and have fun with it!